Right, folks, uh, join me in another fishing adventure. And in my excitement, I forgot to film uh, the intro coming down onto the beach or driving down, which I planned. But well, this is the first fishing video going up on um, my YouTube channel, so I have to bear with me. I hope they improve in time. But I'm fishing a new mark, I've never fished it before. There's it's near the end of May now. Um, and the fishing reports around around the place here where, where I'm living and further afield haven't been too good. A, couple, a week or two ago there was plenty of fish about and they've kind of gone scarce now. There's a sm couple of hounds coming out of different spots, uh, one or two bass, so I picked a beach that I've never fished before. Um, it's in between two other marks that are, are fished, uh, fished an awful lot and some fish come off them. So the two rods there, there's another chap just arrived down the beach down here and I have to say this beach is absolutely stunning. It is probably the best little beach that I've that I've been on. Um, I'll be back again fishing and with the family, definitely. But of the two rods out, the bait I have uh, for this evening, I've lug, I've rag, I've paler crab, I've mackerel, in case there's any taupe about. Um, some razor clams. Just watching the top of the rod there, it's bouncing up and down. So this is my second cast. I had a small little bass, um, I mean a tiny little one. And I did film it. For some reason, it's, it's not in the phone. Can't find it, so. Um, I forgot my stand for the phone. I forgot everything, bar the fishing equipment, which is the only thing I really kind of needed, so. But there's another chap that's just arrived on the beach down there now, so. Hopefully he's a local, so that's a good sign there's a few fish about. But I'm sure we'll know in a few hours time. So the rods, the rails I'm fishing, the sun's behind me. That's what I mean. So I have the Abu Magalit. It's the green one. Had it for years. Absolute beast of a, a rail for uh, casting. And um, my trusty Conoflex Ballistic. And then I have my fix bill. Uh, that was a Seiko A4 Plus Yuki and that was a present uh, bought me by my wife for Christmas and an Akios rail as well what's that? Akios fire loop that's the first um, fixed build rod and rail now I've had in a long long time I've had the ballistic, Conifex Ballistic and the multipliers since uh, geez, I was 17 I used to fish a lot but uh, you can look at this piece, look, it is absolutely beautiful. And the wind has just eased off, just died down. It's lovely, and there's another chap down there, we'll try and zoom in. He's doing a spot of fishing as well. Right there beside the rocks, and I was thinking when I arrived, will I fish there by the rocks? Beside him, and I said no, so I walked up the beach a little bit. Um, and... I, this this spot, beach is absolutely spotless. There's not an ounce of litter on it. There's nothing on it. It's fantastic. But I did find the plastic trays that uh, the bait comes in. So I found one on them on the beach and I obviously picked it up and just moved up a little bit from there and fished. So there's obviously someone fishing here. That could have been the spot they were in. So I put it in. Yeah. Well, that's us at the moment.
something at the bait anyway. We'll get some peeler crab that we've already got prepared. We'll get it on the hook. Yeah, so earlier on there, I brought in the, the fix build, the blue rod here close to me, and I actually hooked into someone else's trace. So I got a weight, weight hook, and all the gear that they left behind them, and there was a bit of lime buried in the sand under, which I managed to get back and retrieve, so I'll bring the home, which is great. Well, let's, let's hope a few fish turn up. You know, it's an ideal spot, it's ideal, idyllic beach, but if there's no fish, then we won't be coming back.
one you're going to outsort. So what we do is this one here is the bags anyway. Bit of a knock at that one. A different type of fish. A little whiting. That definitely wasn't what was knocking that rod like that. A little fella like this wouldn't uh, pull that ballistic over. We'll get him back anyway and see if he, how he gets off. So we put a bit of rag on this one, knock it back out again.
What a bass! What a bass! A double hook up! Bass and a hound! Bass and a hound! Oh my god! Get in there! Oh, Roy. Right. Oh. Yes, <laughs> it was worth the old trip down. <sighs> Bass, lovely lump of a fish. And on the same trace, a little pup hound. Right folks, after a bit of excitement there, it got a bit hectic with bites, and more bites and more bites, and uh, I forgot to take a video of that bass on the map. I did take a picture, it was 50 centimeters. It was really chunky and really, really fat. Um, I haven't had any more bass. So this is about 20 minutes, half an hour after. I haven't had any more bass yet. Um, two rods are still out. So it's gone quiet. I was every cast for about an hour. I was getting bites. I was getting dogfish, a couple of whiting um, that you might have saw, and obviously the bass and the pup hound on the two on the same trace. Now that bass, that bass took peeler crab on a tree of hook, and obviously the hound went for the ragworm, but I'm sure it would have took the crab as well. Um delighted with that now, absolutely delighted. I'm delighted to get it on, on film. My first time doing a video for YouTube and I get that so that's golden for me. But we're gonna give it another uh probably this give it another ten or fifteen minutes to see what's happening. Um some of the lads have gone home from down the end of the beach, but there's one chap still there. I can see his torture every now and again. So we'll give it another twenty minutes maybe. If I get more bites, we'll stay for a bit longer, we'll see what's about. But uh, there's always that last cast, and that last cast can last hours. So we'll see. But um, yeah, I just wanted to say to you that it was 50 centimeters. I have a picture there of it, so I'll try and put it into the video. But uh, yeah, what a crack of fish and well worth uh, the trip down here. Mm -hmm.